Today on Stock Charts in Focus, we're hitting the scans, highlighting a big new refresh that just rolled out for our scan results page. Now, believe it or not, this is going to transform the way that you review your scan results, make it easier to save those into a chart list of your own, but also going to give you the power to see charts right from the scan results page. Some very exciting stuff that's just rolled out there. Plus, we're going to take a look at how to use the predefined scans to start building your own custom technical scans. So lots to show you on today's episode. Of course, you know what it is. It's all new. It's all here. It's Stock Charts in Focus. All right, my friends, welcome to the show, Stock Charts in Focus. Of course, our product focus show here on the channel where we dig into the site, dive into the tools, show you around the features, show you what's new, and ultimately help you get more value out of Stock Charts. That is our mission here every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Stock Charts TV. If you're new to the show, welcome, welcome. My name is Grayson Rose, Vice President of Operations here at StockCharts.com. If you are returning, welcome back. Good to have you as always. We are going to have some good fun on today's show, highlighting something that has just rolled out. You know, whenever we update something on the site that is a feature that I use every day, whether it's a page, whether it's a tool, uh, whether it's a section of our, uh, our commentary features, whatever it is, if it's something that I use every day, that's a big day here at Stock Charts. So this is one of those days we have updated our scan results page built a couple new features into it, made it a little bit easier to use, a little bit cleaner. So you're going to see those updates today. We're going to talk through them and show you exactly how you can get the most out of that scan results page. It's going to be a fun one. Again, something that I use every single day without fail. So very excited about the updates that we've just rolled out there. Once we do that, we're also going to show you how to start using predefined scans to build your own custom technical scans. This is something that we've highlighted on the show a long time ago. It's been a while since we've revisited that topic, but especially with the scan results refresh that we've just rolled out, it's a great time to show that off. This is a fantastic, very, very easy way to start building your own custom technical scans. So you are going to see that in action. Now, before we jump over to the scans and get into the meat of today's show, I do want to highlight a couple of little updates that we've made to our Stock Charts TV pages, actually. The team just rolled out some changes over in that section of the website as well. So let's jump over to the Stock Charts TV pages, talk about a couple of those little changes, and then we'll get into the scan results. So we're starting here briefly from our Stock Charts TV pages. Of course, you can get here by going up to Stock Charts TV at the top of any page around the site. Give that link a click up in the nav bar. And that's going to take you to our Watch Live page, our live player. Of course, this is streaming 24-7 always something to watch right now of course we got Misha's show up as we're recording this but we've made a couple of little changes here to help you access the content on stock trust tv so i did want to show that off on today's show of course you can always come to this page you've got your poll you've got your live player and down below that we also have the schedule so you can actually see what's playing now what's coming up later in the day and even click through different days to see what's coming up tomorrow or what recently aired yesterday or earlier in today of course, we also have our upcoming guest list, which is a nice way to see who's going to be coming on the channel, who's going to be presenting and speaking, uh, people that you might want to tune into. And we have the show listed there as well. So, for instance, Sam Burns coming on February 8th on Dave's show, The Final Bar. Uh, you can see all of that right in here. We do have the links down to YouTube as well at the bottom of this page. So if you do like to watch our content on YouTube, you can always check that out at the bottom. One of the changes though that we've made to this page is that we've updated our show listings page. So up here at the top of Star Charts TV, you've got three options now. Watch live, which will take you to the live player. You've also got the shows page, which will show off in just a sec. And then that third link is our on-demand player. So that is a separate platform, has more on-demand features built into it. You can archive videos, save things for later, kind of build your own playlists there. That is free to register, free to join, but it's actually a separate site over at StockChartsTV.com. So a couple of different ways to watch. You've got the live player here on the site. That's at StockCharts.com slash TV. Then you also have the YouTube channel, of course, with all the playlists and a lot of content up there, plus the new on-demand platform 
at StockChartsTV.com. And that's going to also include all of your different apps. So if you like to watch on Roku or on your Apple TV, uh, any of your uh, your devices, you know, smartphones, uh, tablets, any of that stuff, we've got apps for uh, for Stock Charts TV now built in with that on-demand platform. So more information is available there when you give that on-demand link a click. We'll jump over to the shows page though really briefly because I did want to show off this page. This has been updated, so when you come here, you can actually scroll through all of the different shows that we have on Stock Charts TV. This lineup continues to grow. We've got some old staples, for instance, Rick Benzinger's show in the know. That has been a, a staple of the channel for a long time. But we've also got some fantastic new content, like our new Go No Go show uh, that highlights the uh, the ACP plugin that Go No Go has just brought out as well. So tons and tons to uh, to browse through here. And when you hover over any of these cards, you're going to get a description, a timestamp, a little bit more information about that show. You can also click on any of these cards. So for instance, if you click on the final bar, you'll see this takes you over to the uh, the sort of live viewer page here uh, or embedded viewer page uh, on the Stock Charts TV pages there. So you can actually tune in, catch the latest episode of any of these shows, and you do have a playlist icon here. You can open up that menu right in the sidebar and actually watch previous editions of any of these shows. So one of these kind of standalone show pages that allows you to watch the uh, the old shows, these exist for all of the shows that we do on Stock Trust TV. So a couple of different ways to watch, but that shows page is a great way to learn more about all the content on Stock Trust TV, all the uh, the regularly occurring shows. And again, this has been updated now. You can hover over any of these to, uh, to actually see those descriptions. So a nice little update there. So with that out of the way, let's jump over into the important stuff here. We're gonna talk about our new scan results page. To do that, we're gonna jump over to your dashboard. So we'll head over there. This is gonna be the starting place because for me, I actually like to run a lot of my scans from the dashboard. Again, I mentioned this is a feature that I use every single day. I run scans every single day without fail. I've got scans I run in the morning, scans I run after the close. I've even got scans that I'm running during the day to see what's going on. So I am running scans constantly throughout the day. It's a very, very important feature, one of our biggest and most popular uh, and really most impactful. I mean, this is the way that you're discovering new stocks and funds uh, to buy, the way that you're keeping an eye on the indexes and what's happening, uh, breadth metrics, you can do so, so much with our scan engine. So we're gonna start here though from the dashboard because this is actually where I like to run most of my scans. Now, when you come to the dashboard, you've got a little scans button here. As long as you've turned on the scans and alerts row in your dashboard preferences, you should have a little scans button here. So when I come to run a scan, I hit that scans button that brings me right down to the scan section. And from here, I can actually select a scan that I wanna run and I can just hit that run scan button to run that scan. Now you do also have the ability to edit these scans. So if you select one, for instance, let's do new 52 week highs in the S&P 1500, one of my favorite scans, a very, very simple one, but a very powerful one. You can edit that scan right here or you can choose to run it. Now you do also have a couple of other options in the top right corner of this panel, right from the dashboard. When you open up this more link, you'll see that you actually have three options in here. So you can jump over to the advanced scan workbench to start working on your custom technical scans. That's the full featured, very powerful workbench that's got everything built into it. And you can really do anything that you can imagine from that advanced scan workbench. If you're looking for a simpler scan and you don't wanna to have to worry about writing syntax, writing all of the, uh, the sort of custom code looking stuff to create your own scans, you do have the option of using our standard scan workbench, which is a little bit more of a uh, sort of select the criteria that you want and type in some values uh, kind of approach. So either of those scan workbenches are available to you here and you can get there from the, uh, the more link there in the, uh, the scans panel. The third one is our predefined scans. This is a very easy way to get to our predefined scans page. There are a couple different ways to do that, but our predefined scans allow you to run uh, custom scans that have been already written for you. So we actually have a whole page dedicated to those predefined scans, which will list uh, how many results are, are sort of triggering those different scans at any one point. And then you can click into those to actually see the individual results. And as you'll see, you can save them and you can even use those as a starting place for custom technical scans. So we're gonna get into all of that. But the important thing is that we have updated our scan results page for all three of those workbenches. So whether you're running advanced uh, custom scans, the standard scans or predefined scans, 
you'll see that our results page has been updated. So let's run this scan. We'll hit that big green button. We'll jump over there and we'll take a look at that new page. Here we go. We have run a scan. We've run a scan for new 52 week highs in the S&P 1500. If you are a scan user, you might notice that this page looks a little bit different than it did a couple of days ago. So this is the new and improved scan results page. Now all the features that were built in previously are still here, but we've added a couple of nice things, improved the, uh, the layout, improved actually the scalability. So you can even run these scans on your phone if you're out on the go, save those results into a chart list to come back to them and review those full featured charts later on. Uh, no matter what device you're on, this page is gonna look great and it's gonna scale and be uh, nice and easy to work with. So we've made the page a little bit easier to use, but have also built in a couple of new features that I am excited to show you. So we've run this scan here. We've got 29 results back. We can see that full featured table there, uh, full width, nice and easy to read. Here in the table, you've got a couple of different options. Over on the left side, you've got all of your different links to our different tools. So we've got our symbol summary page if you want kind of that high level overview of any of these symbols. You've got a sharp chart, an ACP chart. Uh, you've also got the sharp chart with the scan indicators. That's kind of a funky one. If you've set a scan for specific indicators, that'll actually load up a sharp chart that's got those indicators built into it. So kind of a, a fun one, a very powerful one there if you're running scans for specific indicators. Uh, you've also got gallery view and PNF and seasonality options in here. So when you pull up this scan results page for any of these individual symbols, you can click any of those links to jump right over to those tools. A nice, easy way to kind of access that. You can also click on the name. That'll jump you over to a sharp chart of that symbol. So for instance, if you were interested in looking at an individual chart of Aflac, all you've got to do is click a name. That's going to open it up in a new tab and you can be uh, off to the races and analyzing Aflac, seeing what's going on on just that chart. Now, one of the very cool things, though, that we've built into this page now, something that I hinted at earlier, you can actually review charts directly from this page. So when you run a scan, you've got your, uh, your results back. In this case, we've got our 29 results back. Let's say we wanted to start just kind of filtering through this, reviewing these charts a little bit before we save it into a list. And, uh, and we don't really care about the full featured charts. We just want to get a sense of, you know, how are these results looking? Maybe you're testing out a new scan. Maybe you're uh, using a scan from someone else. You've got some new criteria, whatever it is. You can actually view charts directly from this page now. It's super simple. All you have to do, just like all of our other pages around the site, hover over the symbol, and that's going to pull up a mini chart of all of these symbols in our scan results page. So for instance, now we're looking at AbV. Now we're looking at Aflac. There's our mini chart of Aflac. So instead of having to actually click on each of these uh, individual scan results, open that full featured chart in a new tab just to see kind of kind of what's going on. Is this an attractive chart at all? Or is this uh, something that I want to steer clear of? You can actually just hover over these symbols now and start to get kind of a high level view of, uh, of you know, how these uh, these different symbols are trading. So a really nice feature. I'm really enjoying having this built in. You know, for instance, this is a, a great example actually here just in the first couple. We've got something like Aflac or like AbV that is just continuing to run higher and higher up to uh, to those new highs. So this might feel a little bit stretched to you just on the, uh, the kind of mini chart view. But then scrolling down through something like American Express, we can see that, yes, this is triggering the same criteria. This is making a new 52 week high but it's doing so sort of for the first time. It's really setting up for a breakout. You can see that there on that little mini chart, AXP just starting to break out to new highs. So that might be one that you wanna open up in a uh, sort of a full featured uh, standalone chart on its own. Again, all you've gotta do is, uh, is click American Express there. Now we're looking at that full featured chart of American Express. We can start to dig into this. We can save just this one chart to a new list, whatever we wanna do. So and a really nice way to start to review these, uh, these scan results and the individual stocks and funds and everything that come back, being able to just kind of breeze through these little mini charts. So that is one of our biggest additions to this page, something that I am really, really enjoying. 
Now up at the top, we've also kind of cleaned up the way that you save these results to a chart list. So right here, of course, you've got the name of your scan. You've actually got the syntax. This will show you uh, in kind of small font, a little bit grayed out, but will show you what that syntax is. So if you're curious to see, you know, what did I put in this scan again? You've actually got that right there. But you've got a couple of options over on the right side that are easier to access now. So of course, our save options, and then we've got download broken out as its own uh, option there. So if you did want to take these results and download that as a CSV file, all you've got to do is click that download button, that'll download it right to your machine. If you want to save these results, though, which is the most common thing to do, you want to grab them all, put them into a chart list, start to, uh, to filter that down, sweep that move those charts around, annotate things, all the good stuff that you want to do with a chart list. All you've got to do is hit that save to chart list button. Now this is going to work a little bit differently than it did before. Here we have something that kind of matches the rest of the site a little bit better. You've got those same three options though. You can save these results into a new chart list and this is actually automatically going to be populated. The name field is going to be automatically populated with the name of the scan that you've run and then the date that you've ran it on. So in this case, we've got our S&P 1500 new 52 week highs name. That's the, uh, the name of the scan. And then today, of course, as we're recording this on the 4th, this is the date, so we throw that in there. This is nice if you're sort of saving these new chart lists every day, if you're running maybe the same scan over and over and you want a new chart list every time, this will actually keep that date in there for you so you can sort of compare uh, different days, you know, the same scan, uh, the different results that have come back for the same scan across different days, always kind of nice. Uh, by the way, if you do sort that table, if you go back here, and let's say you sorted this by scooter, and then you come in here and you save uh, and you check this little preserve sort order, that will actually keep those charts in the chart list ordered in the way that you have them ordered uh, here on your scan results page. So another nice little feature if you're working with those, you do also have the option in your scans themselves in the syntax that you write for those scans, uh, you can order them by a specific indicator. So for instance, you could order them by RSI, uh, and then you can actually preserve that sort order when you save them. So a couple of little powerful features there for you power scan users. Uh, but here in our save modal, this is our first option. Of course, we can save them to a new list. We've got that name field there. If you did want to change this, it's very easy to edit. Uh, you know, just uh, delete that and type in anything new. You can merge these results with an existing list. This is something that I do a ton because I run, again, the same scans every single day. And so I'll actually keep one chart list and throughout the week as I'm running those scans, I'll merge the results into that same chart list. When you merge them in, if something's already in that chart list, it'll be ignored. But if something is not already in that chart list, it'll be added. So it's kind of a way to build up a chart list over time. So for instance, with new 52 week highs, I like to run this scan at the close every single day of the week. And I merge those results into the exact same chart list every day. And by the time I get to the weekend, I've got a list that's full of all the stocks that made a new 52 week high in the S&P 1500 at some point that week. Uh, so a nice way to use that merge feature there if you're running kind of the same scan over and over. Our final option there, of course, we do have our replace list option. So if you did want to replace an entire chart list, uh, if you have an existing chart list that you want to save things into, but you want to replace all of the, uh, the different components that are saved in there, all the different stocks and funds and all that stuff, you can use that replace option to, uh, to totally wipe it out and take those new scan results and fill it in there. With that option, you have that same preserve sort order checkbox. So if you do have that, uh, that table there on the scan results page sorted in a particular way, you can preserve that sort order when you replace an entire chart list. So as you can see, this page has been cleaned up a little bit. We've got some new features in there, uh, a nicer, cleaner way to, uh, to save those results. I'm really enjoying kind of the, uh, the look that the team put together here, uh, matches the rest of the site a little bit more. And it's a little easier to use, works really well across different devices too. So personally, I use my tablet a ton to, uh, to run scans at the end of the day and start to review charts. I love the way this page looks on my uh, on my tablet it works very, very well. And of course, being able to actually review some of these charts on the fly, just hovering over those symbols, accessing any of the full feature tools there. So for something like American Express, maybe you want to uh, wherever we we got to find that in the list again. But if we found oh, there's American Express, if we found this, we see it's breaking out to new 52 week highs, we can either open up that sharp chart, we can jump over to ACP, or we might want to open up the symbol summary page and say, Hey, is this going to report earnings soon? We're in the middle of earnings season. You know, what are kind of the high level features of that chart? So you've got 
all these options now built into that scan results page. Uh, you can jump around to all of those different tools. So that is the sort of uh, standard scan results page there for running your own custom scans. By the way, if you do wanna get back to the scan workbench, you've got a link to that right here at the top of the page. Makes it very easy to get back to, uh, to kind of where you started from. So let's say you ran this scan and you said, hey, I wanna add some additional criteria in there. I wanna edit this scan a little bit. Well, you can just give that a click. That's gonna jump you right over to that advanced scan workbench. Now you can select uh, whatever scan you wanna work with. So for instance, if we wanted to do our, oops, selected the wrong one. There's our new 52 week highs in the S&P 1500. Now we can start to work with this, run it again, resave it, anything that we wanna do. So you do have that link right at the top of that scan results page to get sort of back to where you started from. Now, next up, we did wanna take a look at our predefined scans because the results page for that has been updated as well, but we are gonna also take a look at how to use those predefined scans to start building your own. So it's good that we jump back over to the advanced scan workbench because we've got a link to that predefined scans page right at the top here. So a couple of different ways to get there, by the way, uh, we do have that link, of course, that we're looking at at the, uh, the top of the advanced scan workbench. You can jump over to our predefined scan page right from here. You can, of course, get there from your dashboard. We showed off uh, one of the links there, we'll jump back over there just to, uh, to make sure we've covered it all. Uh, we've got our link to the predefined scans page right here in our Your Scans panel. So that's one way to get there. We also have a link to it in our Member Tools section. So down here under Reports and More, you've got a link right over to predefined scans. And similarly, on our Charts and Tools page, we also have links uh, around that page to the predefined scans page. So no matter where you are around the site, it's pretty easy to get to this predefined scans tool. And it's one that you're gonna to wanna to get to a lot. This is something that I use a ton. It is a very, very powerful tool. So let's jump back over there and we'll take a look at the predefined scans page now. Here we are on our predefined scan results. So this is a very interesting page for a couple of different reasons. First and foremost, on its own, on its face, it's just an interesting tool to browse through. What we've done is we've created a big, big giant list of some of the most popular technical scans that people like to run. So new 52 week highs, one of the most popular. Uh, we were just running that on our own as a custom scan, uh, but a very, very common scan there, new 52 week highs. You know, bullish 50 and 200 day uh, crossovers, uh, golden crosses there. We've got uh, you know new CCI buy signals, improving check and money flow. There's so many different things that we have built in here. The majority of these are very popular scans that uh, that we hear a lot of people running, that we see a lot of people running. Uh, scans that people ask us to create. You know, how do I create a scan for uh, declining check and money flow or something like that? Um, so we've built this up over time. This big list of popular scans. It's not just technical indicators, it's also candlestick patterns, which is a very, very interesting group. And then also p &F patterns down to the bottom. So you've got a huge list to work with here across a couple of different styles. And you can see that they're also broken up into uh, generally bullish scans and bearish scans. Now for each one of these on its own, I said that this page is actually uh, really interesting to look at just on its face. It's an interesting breadth indicator in a certain way. So you can actually look at the numbers and sort of compare the numbers from day to day to get a sense of you know how bullish is today's session, how bearish is today's session, how does that compare to the numbers that I was seeing yesterday. So the way that this page works is that the numbers over on the left are gonna be sort of everything combined and the numbers over on the right are gonna be specific groups. So you can see specific exchanges, uh, even uh, mutual funds as well. So this is kind of a breakdown of this larger number, if you will. But you can look at this larger number here and say, you know, I'm seeing a ton of, uh, of bullish results today and I'm just not seeing that many bearish results. Maybe another day you see the opposite. So it's always interesting actually to, ju to just kind of breeze through the numbers on this page and use it really as its own tool. When you click on the numbers from any of these scans though, you're gonna get the results for that, uh, that group that you clicked. So in this case, if you click one of the numbers on the left, you're gonna get sort of the combined big list of uh, in this case, new 52 week highs across all the different exchanges. Basically everything around the site, uh, everything that we cover that's making a new 52 week high is gonna come back there. If you wanted to focus exclusively on, for instance, the NASDAQ, I only wanna see new 52 week highs in the NASDAQ. Uh, you can click on that number as well. So in any case, you can click on any of those numbers. Now, 
What's interesting is that this page, like I said, is just gonna allow you to run these scans without having to write any custom syntax, uh, worrying about putting together the scan. You, you don't have to do any of that. All you've gotta do is click a number to run a scan. So let's actually use that same one, new 52 week highs, and we'll filter it down. We'll do new 52 week highs in the NASDAQ. We're gonna give that 16 a click. There we go. Now we're on a page that looks very, very similar, slightly different. We'll talk through those in just a sec. But here you're on our new and improved scan results page for a predefined scan. So what you've done, come to the predefined scans page, clicking on one of those numbers, you have just run a scan. Uh, the only difference is that you didn't have to worry about putting it together. So if any of those scans there on that predefined scans page interest you, if these are things that you want to see, things that you uh, want to sweep and run, uh, this is a great way to get started with scanning really. Instead of having to worry about putting putting together all of that syntax, all you've got to do is come over here and click on the scans that are of interest to you. So here on our new scan results page for predefined scans, it's going to work very, very similarly. We're going to have that same hover feature there. You can now hover over any of these symbols and you'll get that little mini chart right there. For instance, we're hovering over CME. Now we get a chart of CME group right up on the screen. We've got those same links. So we've got symbol summary and sharp chart and ACP uh, gallery view, all that good stuff uh, linked in right there. So if any of these intrigue you, you can always click on these links over on the left to pull up that specific tool. Uh, and up at the top, we have some very similar options. In this case, we show you the name of the predefined scan that you've run. We don't show you the syntax because generally a lot of people that are running these predefined scans aren't really concerned about the syntax. They just want to know the name of what they've run. And if you've run it in a specific group, and I'll show you that right here as well. So new 52 week highs in the NASDAQ in this case. Now you've got the same options. You can download these results as a CSV file, or you can hit that save to chart list button. That's going to pull up that same save modal and you've got your exact same options. It's going to do the same thing. Put the name in there, put the date in there for you. You've got your preserve sort order option. If you're creating a new list or replacing an existing list, and you also have the option to merge these results in with an existing chart list. So same, same options that we were just looking at on the other uh, standard scan results page. Now this one looks a little bit different. We move the buttons down a little bit lower uh, because we don't have that block of scan syntax. Uh, so that's why those buttons are moved down there a little bit. But we also wanted to clear up a little more room for the third button, which is new on this page. So I mentioned that predefined scans are a great way to get started with scanning. And I mentioned that you can actually start to use these predefined scans to create your own. This is how you do it. This big blue button here right on the screen, edit scan criteria. What that's going to do is take the predefined scan that you've run, the predefined scan that you have selected. And when you edit that scan criteria, it's going to grab the scan syntax for that scan and put it over on the scan workbench for you. So in this case, let's say that you wanted to start building a scan based around new 52 week highs in the NASDAQ. Instead of having to go figure out how to write that scan syntax, all you'd have to do is hit this big blue button and there you go. All of that scan syntax that we use to run that new 52 week highs in the NASDAQ scan is right there for you. Now, once you do this, you can hit the reformat button. That's gonna sort of stack everything neatly. And now you can read that off right, uh, right there in front of the screen. So type is stock. Uh, we're looking at the uh, specific NASDAQ exchange and we're looking at uh, new 52 week highs. That's the bottom line. We do have a little filter in here for volume to filter out some of the, uh, the really, really small stuff. But this is our new 52 week highs line. So what's very powerful about this is that it can be a great way to start building your own custom scans. Instead of having to worry about figuring out how to write all of this from scratch, you can actually use the scans that are already built for you on that predefined scans page to build your own. So let's, uh, let's kind of start to take a, a deeper look at this now. Uh, what we've done here, loading in this scan syntax, we could actually save this, we can run it, but we can also save this. Let's say we wanted to save this as uh, new custom highs scan. Okay, so we're gonna take that predefined scan, we're gonna pull that into the scan workbench, and we're gonna save that to our account. Now, we've got a link right back to our predefined scans page. Let's say we wanted to combine that with something else. Maybe we wanted, 
Uh, let's say, well, we'll do improving check in money flow. Uh, oh, no, there's nothing in there today. So that's not going to be super interesting. Parabolic star buy signals, a fun one that I actually always like to, uh, to take a look at. We're going to click on that parabolic star buy signal scan. We see we've got 30 results that have come back for that. We're going to hit edit scan criteria, reformat that again. And here we can now grab that uh, custom syntax for this parabolic SAR scan. We did the same one, we did the NASDAQ, we've got those same filters on it as well. But what's new are those two lines down at the bottom, which are showing us parabolic SAR buy signals. So I'm actually gonna highlight all of that. You can see we've pulled that in from the predefined scans page. We've pulled that into our advanced scan workbench. Now I'm actually gonna open up this menu. I've highlighted that, I've actually copied it. Uh, you might not have seen that there, but I, uh, I hit copy to copy that to the clipboard. And now we're gonna go into our new custom high scan. This is that same one that we just had a minute ago. I'm gonna go down to a new line and I'm just gonna paste that in. Now I can save that and we can run this scan and let's see what happens. Now, well, in this case, it didn't return anything because we've got nothing making a new high that's on a parabolic SAR buy signal. But this is how you would start to actually combine some of those different predefined scans to build your own. So you can really start to get creative. If we go back to our predefined scans page here for a second, you can really get as creative as you want combining any of these scan criteria. Uh, actually, one that I've uh, had a lot of success doing in the past is new 52-week highs with a triple top breakout. That's always a nice one. Or a double top breakout that would uh, hopefully pick up something like AXP there. We saw that breaking out to a new 52-week uh, high, kind of a double top there and, uh, and breaking out now. Um, so, you know, this is a great way to, uh, to start building your own custom scans. Really get creative, pull in any of the criteria here. It's a great way to start to learn how that criteria is put together. Uh, a lot of this criteria is also built into the advanced scan workbench for you. You've actually got a section there for predefined scans, so you can, you can pull in a lot of that criteria as well. Uh, but this is a great way to do it. I love highlighting that, uh, that edit scan criteria feature of our predefined scans results page. Just makes it really easy to start pulling these into your own custom scans. So always a, a great one to highlight there. This is a very easy way to start uh, getting up and running with scans if you're new to our advanced scan workbench and you uh, you want to start scanning for your own custom technical criteria. Kind of use these predefined scans as building blocks, put them together, and start to create things that are your own. So that is our show for today. I want to thank you so much for joining me as we highlighted a couple of different things around the site. Of course, those new scan results pages for the uh, advanced scans, the standard scans, and the predefined scans as well. Some very cool new features. I'm really loving that little mini chart highlight. That is something I've been getting a ton out of the, uh, the last few days since this rolled out. Uh, so some great new features in there. Hopefully you had fun seeing how you can actually start to use that predefined scans page either on its own just to look at those numbers or use that to start to build your own custom scans. Take that criteria, make it your own, start to build in your own custom filters there. Use those again as building blocks to kind of put things together uh, and make those, uh, those custom technical scans your own. It's a great way to get up and running with scans. That predefined scans page, there's a ton there for you. So definitely spend a little bit of time playing around with that. Of course, we also highlighted some of those changes that have rolled out recently on our Stock Charts TV pages. I want to remind everyone, of course, we do this show every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern time up on the, uh, the main live channel there at stockcharts.com slash TV. But also, like we were highlighting up on our YouTube channel after that, and the on-demand platform at stockchartstv.com. So lots of different ways to watch all of our shows. Spend a little bit of time. If you uh, haven't gone back to, uh, to revisit some of those new shows that we brought to the channel recently, go check out that shows page, browse through that list. It is always growing. There has been a ton added, especially in the last year. It's been wild to see that grow the way it has. Uh, some great, great names in there. We mentioned Rick Benzinger, for example. I always love tuning into Rick's show. Dave Keller's show, one of my favorites. The new Go No Go show, highlighting one of our very, very cool ACP plugins that just rolled out, uh, combining that with uh, current market analysis from Alex and Tyler. Just great stuff. So many things to, uh, to talk about there on Stock Charts TV. But hopefully you spend a little bit of time browsing over that show's page. Take a look at all the exciting shows that we have. If you had fun with me today, remember we do this every Friday, digging into the site, showing you the tools and the features, and ultimately 
just helping you get more value out of stock charts. That is our mission here on Stock Charts and Focus every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope that I will see you back here for another edition very soon. Again, my name is Grayson Rose, Vice President of Operations here at Stock Charts. It's been good to be with you. I'll see you back next Friday for another episode. But until then, chart on, my friends. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.